guys, it's me Adi Shikoye again from Agile TV and I've got a question for you. What's your views on prenatural agreements? If you're married, have you got one? If not, why? And if you're not married yet but you plan to get married sometime, whenever, would you consider a prenuptial? You might be thinking that that question is way out there but when we take it back and look at it we'll see that a prenuptial is about a contract, an agreement and some people, whether right or wrong, feel that if you're going to have a trust relationship with somebody who you're going to spend your life with, then it shouldn't be about contract. It should be about you being transparent and open with each other and working with each other to create an outcome. So my question to you is, should that not also be the same with our projects and the clients that we're working to serve? If we look at the Agile Manifesto, we see that customer collaboration over contract negotiation is a third value. And for good reason. Because like we said, it makes sense to actually work with somebody and build a relationship whereby you're mutually benefiting from the outcome as opposed to writing things down. Now, there was a time obviously in life when word was the bond. You know, what somebody said you could stand by. And we know that, okay, in business, it can't always be like that. I'm not being naive here. I'm not suggesting that you'd be either. Of course, we need some degree of contracts. But the question is, do we now use that as our stance that, well, I've got a contract and therefore this is how it's going to be? Or does it make sense for us to actually start building and nurturing those relationships and working collaboratively with our clients and customers? Let's face it, a contract is, is not always enough to protect you from, you know, protect your interests or protect you from, from whatever situation is that you intended to protect yourself from in the first place. Now, in regards to collaboration, one of the things that I find that really create that friends and we've got to work to break down is that whole thing of us and them. You know, when we start looking at it from that point of view, then we are already creating that barrier, that gap between us. But wouldn't it be much more sensible to work as a we and, you know, work with them as opposed to, okay, they're over there and we're over here. This reminds me of a time I attended a, an event where a, a guy named BJ Cunningham, he, he created some crazy campaign, Black Death Cigarettes, uh, and some other campaigns. He's a marketer and stuff like that. So I remember attending his event. And he told a very, very interesting story that stuck with me. Now, as an entrepreneur, he was working on various businesses. And when he started out, I believe that you know, he loaned some money from the banks to start importing classic cars from abroad to, to the UK. And when he first started out, you know, he had an overdraft system running. And whenever it was overdrawn, he used to get nasty letters from the bank saying, Yeah, you owe us money. Where's our money? We want our money and stuff, you know. I think we've all experienced at some time in our life those type of letters. I know I have. Um, you know, when I was coming out of university, I used to get those letters from the banks all the time. They were very happy to lend us the money at the time, but then when they wanted it, that's a whole never another story. But then what he said was this. Once he started that business of importing cars in and he borrowed multi, multi millions from the banks to actually finance that idea, when the business started failing, and he started to losing money and falling back on his payments. Guess what happened? The bank manager called him in, sat him down and said, you know what, what can we do together to get this money? They didn't say, what are you going to do to get our money? He said, what can we do together to get this money? Because the banks knew, this is our money we've loaned to him. If we don't work with him to get that money, we won't see a penny of it. If we do, we won't see, we won't see all of it. So they're thinking of their interests and worked with him to actually make that happen. So doesn't that also make sense for us to do that with our clients? To work with them in a collaborative nature, rather than pushing stuff on them, why don't we work with them? Yes, we have contracts in place, but we can work with them to create the outcome that they want. And that's where the collaboration part comes in. We've discussed it in previous ones about not just relying on documentation and working with our clients to actually make sure that we provide them with valuable working software that can give them outcomes. There's something else that comes out of collaboration. When you work with somebody and you create that whole feeling of, okay, you're on my side, they have an affinity towards you, it builds rapport, they want to work with you a lot more. And in business, it costs significantly much less, 10 times less, to actually retain a customer than it is to go out and find a new customer. I know many businesses that are doing very well, very well and very profitable just by servicing one customer. Because you know what they've done? They focus on building a relationship with that customer to the point that they will never look at any other vendor uh, in regards to providing them with software. So, 
We see there the benefits of collaboration. We see why it's important that we collaborate with our customers. And also, as you can see, you know, it's important that we collaborate with the people around us, with our partners, with our children, with our friends. Because it's through collaboration, it's through working with other people that we're going to get the outcomes that we want. So that's just a thought I want to leave you with. How can you improve your collaborations? Are you collaborating with your customer already? And if not, how can you? How can you remove that tension so it becomes not about you, you and them, but it becomes about a collective we. Ali Shakoya, Agile TV, and as per usual, please do leave, feel free to leave your comments below and I'll respond to each and every one of them. See you on the next side. Take care.